Okay, today we're going to go over the Shadda. You might have noticed it in previous videos as a little mark that goes above that looks like a W. This mark indicates that the sound that the uh, letter is making is going to be doubled. So you're going to say it for a bit longer and then you're going to put the vowel on it after. So I'm just going to go ahead and give an example. This is Dorasa. Also, you notice this is one word, but uh, the dad and the ra don't connect, but this is still uh, one word. If you were to put a shadda on the ra, it would become Dorasa. Dorasa. So you would spend a little bit more time on the letter with the shadda. Um, so it also also changes the emphasis of uh, where you where you put the emphasis in the word. So this is darasa, 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 darasa. Uh, another example. Haja. Haja. And Haja. Haja. So you notice that we spend more time on the gene here because it has the sukun. So the sukun is all over the place. You might have noticed it uh, in the word uh, Allah. which is all over the place. So this would be Allahu, Allahu. But you notice the Shadda is there. So this is an Alif, right? Lam, Lam, Ha. But this Lam, the third Lam, actually has a Shadda on it. So it's almost like it's three Lams. Uh, the word Allah actually has a very unique pronunciation in the Arabic language. Allah, Allah. So this also comes up, the Shadda uh, also comes up when, let's see. Uh, it also comes up when you have something called sun letters. Uh, sun letters. And uh, these are about half the letters in the Arabic alphabet. That when you put al on the beginning, if there's a sun letter that comes next, you don't pronounce the lamb. So you don't pronounce the lamb. You might have uh, remembered in a previous video, I mentioned Ar-Rahman. So, this would be uh, a Hamza with a Fatha. Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman. So, actually, you don't pronounce this Lam at all, because Ra is considered one of these special letters. Um, so I'll list out all the letters for you. Um, but when you read it, it's going to have a shadda there. Because this lamb is silent, and it just goes straight to the raw. So it goes, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahman. So all the sun letters um, are ta. Let's see. Ta. Tha. Dal. Dal. Ra. Zay. 
sin sin sod dod to va lam and noon so if any of these comes after an al remember it means the if any of these comes after uh, an al then you don't pronounce the al and you put a shadda on the letter so let's uh, write uh, a few examples This would be anas. Anas. Remember the lamb is not pronounced. So this would just be pronounced uh an nas. So the the noon would take the place of the lamb because it's a sun letter. All the other letters um in the alphabet are considered moon letters. So they actually you do actually maintain the pronunciation of the lamb. So if you were to put a ba after a lamb, like if you were, because ba is a moon letter, um, let's just say al bab, because we're familiar with that word. Al bab uh, means the door. But remember, you do pronounce the al because this is a moon letter, a moon letter. So in Arabic, these are called uh, al haruf. Al Haruf uh, as Shams. Haruf as Shamsiya. So this means sun, and this means letters. So those are sun letters, and if you wanted to make it uh, moon letters, uh, You'd say al uh, al qamariya. Haruf al shamsiya and Haruf al qamariya Remember the the, uh, the shamsiya letters, the sun letters. You totally forget about the lamb and you just take its place with the next letter. With the moon letters, you pronounce the lamb as always.